Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about star connection. So basically there are two types of interconnections. The, that is interconnection is nothing but the way which we connect our coil. Right. So one is known as star and another one is known as delta. So in this video we are going to discuss about the star network. So here the star in the star network the three windings are displaced again. 120 degree apart from each other and here there is a neutral point n right so here r y and b are known as the line conductors and n is nothing but the neutral point right so here instead of representing it as n we can take it as that is instead of representing it as r n we can represent it as r r dash Similarly, instead of yn, we can represent it as yy dash and for bn, it, we can use it as bb dash. That is the reason why I have written r dash, y dash and b dash here. Right. So here, when you look at this, what about the phase of the system? Here, we are having three phases, right? R, y and b. But how many wires we are taking? Here, we are using four wires, right? R, y, b along with neutral. So, this type of system is known as three-phase four-wire system. Right. So, again, you see, here, this is one winding and this is another winding and this is our third winding. Right. So, one terminal from all these three windings are connected to a common point and that point is known as neutral point. Right. So, here, this is what... I had written here you see one terminal of each point is connected to a common point n and other three terminals are connected to the external load through the three conductors known as lines that is r y and b are known as lines here right so the next thing is line voltage and phase voltage in a star system right so the same way you see R, Y, B, just the diagram is drawn a little bit different but it has the same meaning. You see one terminal from each coil is connected to the neutral point N and we are having three phases R, Y and B. Right. So you see the voltage is measured between one phase and a neutral point is known as phase voltage. For example, you see here E, R and E, B N and E Y N are known as phase voltages, right? So what happens in a balanced system? You see, in a balanced system, these voltages are equal in magnitude and displaced by 120 degrees, right? So here, the phase voltages are equal in magnitude, right? So this symbol denotes the magnitude. So magnitude of R N is equal to B N, which is equal to Y N. So, these are nothing but your phase voltages, right? So, this is a symbol which is used to denote E phase or which is E pi, right? So, again, we are taking our E R N as reference. So, E R N, it is nothing but the respective magnitude with angle. So, here the magnitude is E pi, right? We are taking it as E pi. So, angle is 0 degree. So, what about E y n? It is E pi again minus 120 degrees and E b n is E pi with an angle of plus 120 degrees. Here even you can write it as minus 240. Right. Both holds the same meaning. Right. So, now what is meant by line voltage? The voltage between any two lines is called line to line voltage or simply line voltage. Here it is denoted as E l. Right. So, any two line means it may be between, you see, E, R, Y, okay, between R and Y or Y and B or B and R. So, these voltages are known as line voltages, right. So, I believe now you know the difference between a phase voltage and line voltage, right. So, in a star system, what happens, you see, the line voltage is not equal to phase voltage, right. Because the line voltage is E or Y. What about the phase voltage? It is E or N and both these voltages are different in a star network. Right. This is an important point to be noted. Now you see this is your diagram. Right. So the first thing is we have to draw our phase voltages. Right. So 
R n, right? Y n and B n, right? So here these are your phase voltages. So the phase voltages are again displaced from each other by one twenty degrees. So we have drawn this E R n, E Y n and E B n, right? Now the next thing is. Just extend these voltages in the negative turn. That is, when the direction is reversed, the voltage becomes negative, right? So this is your positive direction or positive value of E R N. So whenever you draw in the opposite direction, that becomes negative. So minus E R N here. Similarly, E Y N and here it is minus E Y N and here it is E B N. Here it is minus E B N, right? So this is the key thing which we have to draw. right now you see here we are having r and here we are having y therefore here the net value is e r y right similarly here you see here we are having b and here we are having y therefore here it is e e y b here similarly here between r and b we are having b r right So just draw these line voltages, and this line voltage it is nothing but it is the summation of your E Y N and minus E B N, right? Similarly, E R Y is nothing but E R N and minus E Y N. Similarly, E B R is nothing but E B N plus minus of E R N, right? So here now we have drawn the line voltages and phase voltages, and another thing which you have to keep in your mind is you see here this line voltage it always leads the respective phase voltages by thirty degrees, right? This is also again an important thing to be noted, right? So here in this case, I believe you people know how to draw the respective. diagrams of line voltages and phase voltages right so here again you see here the angle between these two line that is ebn and er and the whole angle is 120 degree so since here this line is taken from the middle the angle here is 60 degrees right again this 60 again splits up into two therefore here it is 30 degrees okay this is the logic behind how to draw these phasor diagrams right so once this diagram is drawn now we can find the relationship between your line voltage and phase voltages right so here you see again while writing expression for e r y you see here e r y is nothing but e r n plus e n y right so here what happens instead of e n y we are having you see wait let me finish it off Right, the derivation part. Let me finish. Then I will show you in the diagram. So E and Y, when we, this E and Y can be rewritten as minus E. Actually, here it is Y N. Right, it should be E Y N. Right. So here E R N this reference. Therefore, E phase E pi with an angle of zero degrees. What about E Y N? E Y N is It is E pi with an angle of minus one twenty degrees, right? Sorry, I didn't show you, right? Yeah, just a minute. You can understand this one, right? E R Y is E R N plus E N Y, and this E N Y can be written as minus of E Y N, right? As you change this order, the sign gets reversed. Therefore, it becomes minus. So now we are going to substitute the values. right so here the values are you see these are all the values right so now we are going to substitute this these values here so here just substitute the values so when you substitute again you see we are converting this polar form into rectangular form so here 0 degree becomes 1 plus j 0 right because here the magnitude is 1 And here it is minus point five minus j root three by two. So again, the next step is we are going to multiply, and again we are going to simplify, right? So when you multiply, this is the answer. Now you have to add, right? So one plus point five becomes one point five. This one point five can be written as three by two, right? So, so here there is nothing. So just write it as such. 
Now, when you take this e pi commonly outside, here we are having 1.5 plus j point double eight six. Now, this rectangular form is converted into polar form as e pi root 3 with an angle of 30 degrees. Right. So, here we have calculated the value of e r y. So, in the same way, e y n plus that is E Y B is E Y N plus E N B. Right. E N B can be written as minus E B N. So again the same way just substitute the values and here we are ending up with the angle like this. Right. E pi root 3 with an angle of minus 90 degrees. And the same way what about E B R? E B R is I have directly written with negative sign. E B N minus E R N. So again just substitute the values and finally here you see the answer is root 3 e pi with an angle of 150 degrees. Right. So here that is the magnitude when you took the values you see e r y equal to e y b which is equal to e b r. So when you look at these three values everything holds root 3 e pi you see e b r is root 3 root 3 e pi. Similarly, you see E Y B. E Y B is again root 3 E pi. E R Y. E R Y is again it is root 3 E pi. The only difference is the angle gets deferred. Right. So here the magnitude remains the same whose value is root 3 times of E pi. E pi is nothing but your phase voltage. Right. And what about the phase difference? The phase difference is 120 degrees. Right. Yeah, it is obvious. You see. You see here for E or Y, the phase angle is 30 degree. Right. So here for E or Y, it is 30 degree. Right. So here in this case for E, Y, B, you have to add minus 120 to this. Right. So, 30 minus 120 gives you minus 90. Right. Right. Yeah. Again, so here for in this case. So, again for this case. Right. So, here when you add minus 90 to this when you add plus 240 that gives an answer of 150 degrees. Right. So, here finally the node to be taken is you see the sum of phase voltages is equal to 0 and similarly the sum of line voltages are also equal to 0. Right. Now power in a three phase balanced circuit is given by you see El is equal to root 3 times of E phase. Therefore E phase is El by root 3 and in a star network it is obvious right that line voltage is equal to Sorry, line current is equal to phase current. So, what is the expression for power? Since it is a 3 phase, it is 3 E phase I phase into cos pi. Right. So, now just substitute the values. So, E pi is E L by root 3, I pi is I L. So, when you solve, finally the expression for power is given as root 3 E L I L cos pi. Right. Here comes the end of this video. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. Thank you.